A little over 15 months after the August 10 violent protest in 2022, which claimed the lives of six police officers and more than 20 civilians, the November 26 attack by unknown gunmen in Freetown again goes into the dark history of Sierra Leone. A total of 23 deaths were reported. 18 security officers who were laid to rest yesterday, three attackers, one private security guard and a female civilian lost their lives. Reiterating President Bio's words, the press secretary, Solomon Jamiru, emphasized that the November 26 incident will be treated as a matter of law and order, maintaining that all perpetrators, regardless of status or political affiliation, will be brought to justice. President Julius Marabio is unwavering in his commitment to peace, to unity, to democracy, to constitutional order. Africa has seen maybe around um, six or so coups. We've had in Sudan, we've had in Chad, we've had in Mali, we've had in Burkina Faso, we've had in Niger, we've even had one with our closest neighbors, Guinea. Sierra Leone is a democracy. That responsibility is a shared responsibility. President Julius Madabio has made that profound commitment, but it's also the responsibility of all of us as good citizens who have chosen peace, we have chosen democracy. We must stick to those values because those are the values that make us who we are. Solomon Jamiru further stated that November 26 was a dark Sunday. He described the deadly incident as a sacrilege committed on Sabbath day. What happened was an attack on our peace, on our democracy, an attack on the values that make us a good people and a good nation to the world. His Excellency, President Julius Madabio, has been very clear, very definitive in his two addresses to the nation, but also his address during the solemn funeral service for our fallen heroes. And it's important for me to reiterate a few fundamentals from His Excellency's statements. First, we must bear in mind and be very clear that what happened on November 26 was a failed coup. It was an attempt to unseat a democratically elected government. Secondly, it is important to bear in mind and understand that what happened on November 26 was an attempt to topple constitutional order what underpins and safeguards the very democracy and peace that we enjoy is the constitution, the 1991 constitution. There must be no attempt to erode it. Solomon Jamiru called on all patriotic citizens to help in the investigation of the attack for the country to return to a total normalcy. Salifu Chernakamara, AYV News.